today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you a first look at Fractal's brand new Ion Plus 2 Platinum Fully Modular Power Supply. So this is a high-end power supply with an 80 plus platinum efficiency and it comes with a 10 year warranty. It's available in four versions, 560, 660, 760 and 860 watts and I've got the 860 watt version here. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a closer look at it. Okay, so in the box we've got our user guide, some Velcro cable straps and some screws to secure the power supply to the case. We've got our power cable. This is a European version. Obviously, if you buy the UK version, you'll get a UK plug. We've got a very nice pouch containing our cables. We'll take a closer look at these in a minute. And then we've got our power supply, which comes well packaged in a bag. The power supply features a 140 millimeter fan with FDB bearings, which should keep it nice and quiet, even under heavy use. Another nice feature of the power supply is at a flip of a button, you can turn on the zero RPM mode, which means under light loads, the fan will stop spinning, making it even quieter. As you can see, the power supply is fully modular. It features quite an attractive design and it's reasonably compact at only 150 by 150 by 86 millimeters. Taking a closer look at the included connectors, we've got a 24 pin connector. We've got three PCIe cables. Each of them has two a six plus two pin connectors. So that's a total of six eight pin connectors. We've got two EPS cables. One's got an eight pin connector and one has a four plus four pin connector. We've got a total of three SATA cables giving a total number of SATA connectors of 10. And then we've got a single Molex cable with four Molex connectors. One of the first things I notice on picking up these cables is just how flexible they are. And this is one of the features that Fractal advertise with this power supply. They describe this as Ultraflex DC cabling. And I could imagine if you've got a small form factor build where you've got some tight turns to do, you shouldn't have any problem using this particular cabling. So hopefully you find this unboxing useful. I'm about to do a build with this power supply in Fractal's brand new torrent case. So if you want to see that, you'll find a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching.